after few previous successful events in ROX, by successful I mean it appears and actually gives something to the majority of the players, and also countless of events that dissed and only benefit to some of the players, finally I think the developer slowly find the right balance to make the events work to all players. Hey everyone, I'm King, welcome back to King Spade channel. Yep, I'm talking about the Komodo event. If you know how to do this event, you can potentially get all of the costumes and on top of that, get all of the selection pack in the event. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can get all of the reward in the Explore Komodo event. Alright, this method is actually made known to me by Beldusas Red or Beldi in short. We had a chat in game and he showed me his computation of this event, so I'm very grateful for this information. I tested it and I made my own calculation and it can be done. So the event is an audience blessing event. As you already know, the audience blessing event requires you to use audience blessing on monster to get the event materials. The event materials then can be used to exchange for the event rewards. Nothing new, right? Now the key to this event is to find the right monster that drop more materials than the rest of the monster. If you are around level 100, the monster that you want to use Odin's Blessing on is the Dark Frame. If your level is not close enough to the Dark Frame level, I will get to that in a bit. Dark Frame will give 80 pieces of lost fragment materials for every 4k Odin's Blessing. Beldi has tested it twice. He used 4k Odin's Blessing twice on Dark Frame. I used 4k Odin's Blessing once on Dark Frame. All three times gave us 80 pieces of lost fragment materials. Well, even better, I actually got 81 but close enough. Now we are not going to focus on the other material, the broken dragon scale. Because this material has higher drop rate and you will have excessive amount of it when using Odin's Blessing. So this material will not be a problem to get. Well, you might ask, but King, are the Komodo monster have higher chance on dropping the event materials as per stated at the event information? Well, I don't know how high the chances are, but apparently it is not high enough. I spent 4k Odin's Blessing twice at Tri-Joint and I got only 50 pieces lost fragment on both times. I asked in our Discord and one member said that he got 60 pieces as shellfish. Now if you already use up all of your save Odin's Blessing on other monster, it is not a problem. You still can get enough materials. This is a calculation that I made for the event in reference to Beldi calculation. He showed me his calculation and I made my own computation to check if it is viable myself. The event duration is 13 days. If you use the 2000 daily Odin's Blessing plus the 400 free Odin's Blessing that you can get from the event daily for 13 days, you can get a total of 13,200 Odin's Blessing. Divide that by 4,000 Odin's Blessing, you can use 7.8 times of 4k Odin's Blessing for the entire event duration. Using Odin's Blessing at Dark Frame, you can get this amount of materials. Using 7.8 times Odin's Blessing on Dark Frame, you can get 1,833 Dragon Scale and 624 Lost Fragments. Now here is a table that I made showing all of the rewards that you can get from the event and the total of the event materials needed to get the reward. Obviously, you will not have enough materials to get all of the rewards, but the materials that you get from Dark Frame are enough to get all three costumes and also the upgrade, refine, and enchantment selection pack. If I add all of the materials needed for the costume and the selection packs, well, we are still a little bit short of materials, but you can choose which selection selection pack you want more and adjust according to the materials that you have. Now if your level is way below the dark frame level, this website can help you choose what monster to farm. This site is called GamingPH.com. This particular article here is written by Erwin Bantilan. Here it listed the event's materials drop rate, chances
sensors on all of the monsters. The dark frame as stated here have 1.89% chances on dropping the lost fragment per kill. So depending on your level, you want to look at the monster that you can farm that have similar or near to 1.89% chance of dropping rate. Now the percentage shown here is per monster kill, not per one Odin's blessing used. So if you see a higher percentage but it is a medium or large size monster, you need to divide that according to the monster size number to see if it will have higher percentage than the small size monster, alright? I hope this little tip can help you get the most of the rewards that this event has to offer. If you have any other tips and tricks regarding this event, please share it at the comment box below. That's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.